good morning and welcome to Rocket Travels. <laughs> I get told off for laughing all the time. <laughs> Believe it or not, yeah. Uh, anyway, today's the day I'm going home. Super, super excited, man. Uh, I'm up uh, crack of dawn. Um, it's about half past seven. The pool is open at uh, seven uh, in the hotel. I'm gonna bang the link for the hotel uh, in, in the description. Um, it would have been put in a previous vlog, a couple of vlogs ago, not too sure. Done a lot of vlogging the last few days. I'm on a mission. Uh, but yeah, the hotel is uh, superb. Uh, this pool, uh, didn't show the pool the other day because it was late and it was shut. Didn't get to the hotel till late and I was busy all day yesterday. Uh, yeah, the pool's all right. It's not a great big pool, but it's a pool. It's a rooftop pool. Um, the view's a little bit obscured by uh, this like green thing. Nice green thing. But um, yeah, there you go. Look, there's the view. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. It could be a better view, but um, yeah, it's I suppose it's there for safety in some ways. Although there's no way you would get through these things but um i'm not complaining i actually looked at um i mentioned the other day i paid 17 pounds for this hotel it is very very convenient uh next to pay a Thai, uh bts uh there's mrt there as well uh, i was out on that yesterday superb rail system uh linking all the suburbs of bangkok uh yeah i can't fault this hotel Room's amazing. The aircon's really the, the best thing about the room is the aircon. It's so uh, controllable. You know, sometimes it's too cold, sometimes too hot. Um, yeah, it's perfect. Like the it's really sensitive with its settings, and you could get a perfect. You know, the, the, my night's sleep was really good. Uh, yeah, the temperature in the room was really, really good. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this uh, hotel. Um, I did pay uh, 17 English pounds. Well, I think it worked out £17.81p. Uh, I've been here for two nights. It's 35 odd quid. Uh, I did look because I thought that's a bargain. I think I did get somehow a very discounted, cheap deal price with the hotel. I did look last night and the prices were £22 to £25, uh, depending on what. Uh, where, where, who, who you booked uh, the, the hotel with but even like at 22 25 pounds uh, this hotel is uh, yeah it's good um, yeah I highly recommend it's so easy uh, you know three minute walk from the, the, the railway link and it's so accessible to uh, central uh, uh, areas in Bangkok all your tourist areas all your temples etc uh, it's, it's superb. It's the best place I've ever stayed in Bangkok. Uh, I can't sing its praises enough. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Drifting away into uh, uh, oblivion there. But um, yeah, highly recommend this hotel. Okay, so today, off home to Hua Hin. And uh, yeah, see the boss. Uh, really, really excited to go home. Uh, <laughs> I'm running out of clothes because I didn't bring any clothes with me. My suitcase is full of uh, other stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got no clothes. So, um, well, I got some obviously enough to get through a couple of days. But I got my wardrobe at uh, home in Hua Hin. Uh, I got all my equipment, uh, you know, for my vlogging, my tripods, me. I got another GoPro. Uh, I got big plans to do stuff, all sorts of adventures. Uh, normally with my uh, vlogging and my YouTube channel, uh, I wink, uh, over the year, over the what, 18 months I've been at it, something like that, uh, I do tend to wing it a little bit, uh, off the cuff, you know, just walk out the door, what should we do today, wake up in the morning, what should we do today, uh, but it's not really been working because uh, my v vlogs are, uh, I need to do a little few more vlogs. Uh, each, each week etc and uh, you know tell my story a little bit more uh, so I've uh, actually made some plans um, loosely made some plans so, so I know kind of what I'm doing for the foreseeable 
so hopefully there'll be more uh, more vlogs and I'll be able to give a bit more content and information um, which will benefit you guys hopefully um, hopefully we've gone off to a good start over the last few vlogs anyway that's where we're at I'm not going to make a vlog am I of me in a swimming pool uh, for 20-30 for minutes uh, we have things to do and uh, my tax is picking me up at 9 o'clock uh, my room is a tip so I have got to go and get busy so I'm going to have a little swim, a little dip probably have something to eat and um, yeah head off to Who Are Hin going home <laughs> Rocket Travels is going home man alright that's it for the moment <laughs> Okay, swim done. Slightly better view when you're out of the pool. Look at that. I'm just going to show you up here. Just add a little wander. They have this little rooftop teak building with a little shrine in there. How nice is that? Look at that. Look if that's picking it up. How lovely. Anyway. Oh, let's show you the rest of the rooftop man right we're going to show you uh, how close we are to the railway link it's literally hope the GoPro's picking up should do because it's very close there you go there's a train down there as well that's like the uh, domestic uh, cross uh, Thailand railway service and there above it is uh, the uh, airport link so it's literally <laughs> Oh man, minutes, minutes away. Um, yeah, really, really, really good location. There was a few reviews uh, saying it's a bit noisy, um, but I didn't get any noise myself last night. And there you are, on queue is the railway link, city line. There you go, people just come off the aeroplane, come into Bangkok for their jollies. There you go. Anyway, we're going down uh, to pack the bags and um, yeah, get out of Dodge. Okay, I am checked out. Uh, superb stay. They also have a, like a little coffee shop. They do do a breakfast. Uh, that's additional. Uh, I'm not filming in there. It's like a buffet breakfast. They have like a little juice bar, coffee bar. Uh, it's two buildings. Uh, it's not that building there, it's that building over here. Sorry, are oh, you my driver, who are you? Okay, come. He has your name. Oh, you early. <laughs> okay, boss, who are you? Yeah, okay. I was gonna have some breakfast, but okay. Okay, my taxi driver is here already. <laughs> oh man, I got no time for breakfast. It means I'm gonna get, get home really early. Anyway, uh, it's the name of the hotel, Top High Airport Link hotel this is the main building as i was saying and i was over here in this building uh yeah it was all good and they have a nice pink tuk tuk to take you wherever you'd like to go this is my taxi to hua hin no time for breakfast oh la la i'm gonna have to get him to stop somewhere on the way anyway goodbye Bangkok and uh, we're on the road I was going to show you my dinner and everything not my dinner my breakfast but um, yeah it's not meant to be so uh, yeah we'll have to have something to eat on the way maybe one of those 7-eleven uh, ham and cheese toasties yeah infamous toasties 7-eleven toasties who knows anyway we are hitting the road <laughs> unexpectedly early it's about an hour early they always are actually I used this company before uh, I tell you a bit, I'll put the link, hope, try and find a link for the taxi uh, uh, somewhere and put it in the description. I always use them. Uh, taxi from uh, Bangkok, anywhere in Bangkok, uh, Don Wang, Sufanapum, or from your hotel is uh, 1,800 baht. Yes, I know, there's cheaper and there's more expensive also. I always use this company because they are very, very punctual, as you can see. They always turn up, they always communicate, they've always got a taxi. They always go out their way to accommodate me. So stick with what you know, you know, sometimes, you know, you go cheaper, cheaper, cheaper options. You're not going to get it much cheaper than 1800. Uh, I'm very happy uh, with, with what I pay and the company I use. So there you go, 1800 baht from uh, Bangkok, my hotel, 
to Huahin. Right, we need to go. Right, okay, bus. Okay, thank you. He's very kindly going to take my suitcase for me. It's the last time I ever bring a suitcase anywhere. It's a nightmare, man. It's full of junk and all. I'll show you later. I've even got gravy granules in there. <laughs> bring some home comforts to Thailand, man. Poor old boy struggling. Up. It is heavy, very heavy. Anyway, we're on the off. Gonna do some editing on the way. I might have a little chit chat with you. And we might hopefully stop somewhere for some breakfast. Super cool, yeah? But I have a new subscriber. Hey! <laughs> What's your name? Somchan. Somchan, and uh, you uh, work in the Philippines? Yeah, what, what, Philippines what, what do you do in the Philippines? I work in the company in Thailand. They oh. assign me there. Okay, yeah. okay. And four years in the Philippines? I'm almost 11 years. 11 years? Yeah. Oh wow. But I am staying in Cebu just for four years. Uh, oh, most of so the time I stay in Luzon. Oh, Luzon. Yeah. Okay, I want to go back to the Philippines one day. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, I like go back to Cebu, uh, Subic Bay. Yeah, uh, I yeah. go everywhere in Subic Bay. Very Subic nice, yeah, yeah. From the north and the south. Yeah, very nice. Anyway, my friend, thank you very yeah. much. Have a night, nice day. Yeah, and you. Yeah. you. Did you subscribe to my channel? Yeah, I already subscribed. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Rock and roll, I have a new subscriber. <laughs> I think that hits me on exactly 8,000. My subs did go down a little bit uh, when I wasn't vlogging. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I think YouTube do something to it, get rid of all the fake accounts and stuff. Anyway, whatever. That guy is a really nice guy. Works in the Philippines for 11 years in Cebu. I've been Cebu. All good. Anyway, we're hitting the road before my taxi driver gets impatient. Okay, we are on the way. We are in the taxi, heading to who are in and uh, yeah the tax drivers very very kindly uh, offered to uh, stop me at 7-eleven just around the corner uh, I did ask him to uh, stop outside Bangkok somewhere but uh, yeah I'll go with 7-eleven so I've treated myself so long to a Didu Canalopi I also got a Didu I don't know what flavour that is I ain't got my glasses on so I can't read it Anyway, we've got two Didus. We've also got, uh, in my last vlog, I was on the pink MRT going to Koh Krek, the island. So I bought Oreo with uh, pink stuff in the middle. Whatever they put in the middle, it's pink. And also, of course, because it's 7-Eleven and it's breakfast time, we have got the famous it's not actually ham and cheese, it's chicken, sausage and cheese. So there we go, that's my breakfast. Uh, that'll do me till we get to Hua Hin. Uh, when we get to Hua Hin, we're going to see the lovely lady called Jane, who has a little side uh, street, street food style store, uh, just down in the village. Uh, yeah, her food is amazing. Uh, the food I've had in Bangkok has been okay, but her food is exceptional. Uh, so we're gonna uh, go down there and uh, have some have some dinner and um, yeah, fill my belly. <laughs> oh, I need a good feed, man. Uh, yeah, the food yesterday because I was busy. Yeah, it was a bit hit and miss. Um, yeah, I need a good meal. So uh, we're going to see the lovely Jane. Anyway, I'm gonna have my breakfast and we'll see you uh, when we're getting closer to Hua Hin. Exciting, yeah. I am home. Back in Tipawan, Hua Hin. Uh, just got the taxi, went a little bit the wrong way. Okay, uh, we're gonna stop this one, this one here. Yep, okay, come, that's it, good. Okay, we're here, we're home. I can see Charlie Chicken. Charlie Chicken is looking good. Where the boss is, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> it's the boss, <laughs> Charlie Chicken. <laughs> Right, I better get a big hug, what do you reckon? <laughs> Let me in! Let me in the house! Hey! Home! Home sweet home! <laughs> Here's my home! Oh, what a journey, man! Oh, what a journey! I'm so happy to be home! Wow! Doesn't feel like I've been away, I've only been here seconds! <laughs> Boss is doing my suitcase. There's Charlie. Oh, there's my barbecue. It's looking good. Right, okay, we're gonna sort the taxi driver out and then we're gonna settle in, settle in home. Hey! <laughs> all right, I'm super happy, boss is happy. It's all good, all good in the hood. 
<laughs> Do I look happy to be home? Yes, yeah, big time, man. Okay, I'm not watching my channel before, and I go on about Charlie. This is Charlie, Charlie Chicken. He don't say much. He don't even cock a doodle do. But um, yeah, I'm so happy to be home. My lovely little quiet neighbourhood. Uh, yeah, I've got a big list of jobs to do. Wash down the, the carport. Uh, there's my nest. Get my nest up and running with my computer. Done a bit of editing on the way. Um, yeah, a bit of downloading, a bit of editing. So the next vlog should go out soon. I've had to open the windows on my room. It smells in my room, <laughs> musky. Right, we're in. This is where I live. Oh, I love my little house. Nice big TV, little fan. This is uh, this is where Beastie's been living while I've been away. There is Beastie. God, it smells in here a bit. It's a bit niffy. I think it's uh, this bag of luggage. There's all my camping equipment there. Yeah, my camping equipment smells a bit. I need to find uh, a laundry with a big washing machine. Wash all my tents and stuff. It's definitely that that smells. It's uh, camping stuff. I sort that out. Anyway, I've opened my windows. Well, one thing we are going to do is get curtains for this room. At the moment, we don't have any curtains. And I can see lots of cleaning. I work in a cleaning trade, don't I? Window cleaning and uh, before that, I've done commercial cleaning. And... Um, yeah, so I, I, I like things clean, so I'm looking already at things that are dirty. Especially like, considering I was a window clean, I'm looking at the glass. Here's the kitchen, there's the... Oh, they look alright actually, I thought they might die. There's the flowers for the boss. Uh, I think the worst thing I've come home to is the fridge. I love my fridge. You open this up, look. <laughs> it's empty. It's because the boss won't go to the big shop. She just goes to the little village shop and gets the uh, food daily. There's not even a Chang. Let's have a look. There's some wine, but that's it. Um, yeah, big lots and lots of jobs, shopping. But uh, first things first, how's my bathroom? <laughs> I'll randomly show you around my house. I've done this a million times. But um, yeah, um, lots and lots of jobs to do. First things first, we're going to go. I got a rental motorbike for the foreseeable. Uh, do have plans to uh, get my own bike, but not at the moment. I wait till I've severed ties completely with the UK. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go and get the rental, and then we're going to go and have some, ah, oh, some beautiful Thai food from a beautiful cook. And um, that's that's going to be it for the day. So, um, and then I'm going to have a little think about where where we're going. I do have a list of things to vlog. Uh, lots of adventures. I'm so happy to be home. Really am. Anyway, we'll finish the vlog at dinner with a nice can. They don't do Chang at the little uh, little eatery we go to. It'll have to be a small, small tin of Leo. Super cool, yeah? Okay, we are at Soy 94 and we are at Angel Motorbike and Taxi. And this lovely young lady here has just sorted me out a lovely bike. There you go. So if you want to uh, rent a motorbike, I highly recommend this place. This is my rental. Uh, they are very, very good quality bikes. Uh, the rental uh, for this bike is 155 baht per day. Okay, someone might out there might get it cheaper. Some people might pay a little bit more, but the service here is absolutely fantastic. It's Soy 94, just down from... Um, what this building? Tops? Okay, what name this place? Hotel G. Yeah. Okay, so the hotel across the road is Hotel G. Uh, so it's quite easy to find in Soy 94. Um, so yeah, Soy 94, Angel Motorbike Taxi. Big up to them. 155 part a day. I'm laughing because I'm doing a sales pitch for them and I did ask the lady whether I could uh, to vlog and let people know where I get my motorbike. So yeah, today like we've got a brilliant, excellent taxi service. I'll bang that up in the link. There's a link in the description and I'll bang this place up uh, for, for hiring your motorbike. Use these guys, they're very good. The helmets are good, the bikes are good. The price is good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you can text these people in advance and uh, they will have it waiting for you. So there's no mess, you don't have to wander around, you don't have to negotiate. 
everything is absolutely super cool <laughs> right i'm going back to get the boss and we're going out for dinner there you go capcom cab thank you very much thank you capcom cab okay dinner has arrived it is i can smell it man you know when you get that spice in it makes you makes you cough and sneeze oh, i'm cooking the flavors that are coming out of the wok uh are absolutely superb so do you want to check out the dinner uh the boss has got a uh, cop owl beef what beef in thai and that's right i can't say beef in thai at the moment it's something i i am trying to learn little bits i do know little bits um so, some bits i struggle with uh but yeah perseverance and uh, i have cop owl moo uh topped with an egg so here you are take a look so uh, the beef that is a serious big portion of beef the portions here are a lot bigger uh, than i was getting in bangkok in bangkok portions i've, I've had this before in bangkok the portions are very small nidnoi uh, but the portions here are banging just right not, not like you know plates you know overpowered on the plate but uh yeah a good a good meal a good meal and then uh, this this meal uh how much this meal 60 baht 50 baht yeah so yeah i have cop out moo with a nice hot fresh fried egg uh sometimes you have to ask them to uh cook the egg last if you cook it first sometimes it goes cold so um yeah if you know how to communicate uh, get your egg cooked last unless you like cold eggs uh yeah the dish is here 50 to 60 baht uh we'll let you know what the meal costs uh when we finished but um they've run out of small leos so i'm gonna have a big bottle of leo and then that's it for the day uh we're gonna say our goodbyes and uh i'm going back to major major chill might have a sleep uh might do some editing <laughs> just chill out at home man it's gonna be so nice just it is so nice to be back home uh so yeah big chill at home today take some time out uh, I have a bottle of wine at home. I'm not vlogging me drinking that. Or shall I? I don't know. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Okay. And enjoy my dinner and then we're gonna say au revoir. I'll let you know what it uh what it tastes like, yeah? Okay, we're doing the taste test. Uh, Bear with me. Wow. Moo, pork, chilli, basil, basil, whatever you want to call it, rice, herbs and spices. Mm. Wow. The food here never ever disappoints. The flavours in there just melt in your mouth. Absolutely amazing food. So if you're coming down to Hua Him, uh, get yourself out of town. Come along Canal Road, turn into Tipper One, straight over, come down, wait till you see a big blue wall with a cooking area, and come in, see Jane, and uh, get her to knock you up a superb bit of grub. The food is just lingering in your mouth, man. I was just laughing because all I've done this vlog is a vlog with a blue wall behind me. Uh, food was amazing. Uh, we had cop out beef. Cup out moo. Um, I had a large bottle of Leo and a small tin of Leo, and uh, the boss had a, a soda. The whole bill was 260 baht. Now, I've just been informed, and this is good news, man. Uh, I've had people come in here off the back of my channel. Uh, the lady that runs the place, Jane, uh, she's just informed us that people have watched my YouTube channel and actually come here. Uh, for some food and mention my channel so <laughs> that is really really cool not just my channel but supporting this lady's uh, little business uh, roadside just up the road on Tipper Wham uh, the food's amazing you know some you don't need a big posh restaurant um, you know this is down to earth home home style Thai cooking uh, what I'm gonna do I'm in um, I'm in town in Hua Hin uh, to uh, at least uh, I think the third week in September before I hit the road, uh, go on some travels. So I'm going to do offer four people and eat, meet and greet. So if four people that watch this channel would like to come down and do a meet, do a greet with yours truly and uh, try out the food here, it's on me, it's free. Uh, I will pay for the whole thing. So I'm offering 
four people to come down here and have dinner with me, have a chat. Uh, yeah, me, me, maybe meet some people, watch the channel, meet some subscribers. Uh, but it's on me, and it'll support this lady's business as well. Uh, the more people that come here, the more, the more, uh, the, the better it is for her. Uh, so the way you can contact me is if you join my uh, Facebook group, uh, Rocket Travels. Uh, Rocket Travels Facebook is troll free. So if you are a troll, do one. You're not welcome. If you're a subscriber or someone who enjoys the channel or someone who just wants to uh, sample some really nice food, um, yeah, I'm offering four people free food and free beer in Tipperwan, in Huahin. Come down here, jump on a plane and come see me, man. I would. Uh, anyway, so um, anyway, that's the offer. Meet, greet, and eat with Rocket Travels during the month of September. Uh, certain date, etc. You have to contact me via Facebook Rocket Travels. Uh, it should be in the description. Anyway, I need a siesta, which means a sleep. Uh, so, anyway, without further ado, from Rocket Travels, over and out. See you in the next vlog. How's that work? Call me. <laughs> Meet, greet, and eat sometime in September. Come on, let's do it. Let's have some fun. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going mad. Look, I'm not doing a secret outro. Go away. <laughs> not today. Bye bye. I know what you want. You want a secret outro. <laughs> right. We're not on YouTube anymore. This is the real deal, Rocket Travels. <laughs> I had a great day, man. Anyway, look. Check this out, man. Oh, look at that. Red wine with ice. Because it's so hot. Very, very nice. Do you want to see what I shipped? All the way to Thailand in my suitcase from the UK. There you go, look. Remember, we're not on YouTube now, so you can say, do, and act, and do what I want. Look at that. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> look at that, look. <laughs> I shipped that. It actually, I actually bought it in Thailand. I shipped it all the way back here. I've, in fact, quite a few things in my suitcase. I actually shipped back. I bought in. I bought in Thailand. Scratch me ear. Don't do that. You can scratch your ears, scratch your nose. <laughs> do that on YouTube. It don't work, man. <laughs> anyway, I know what you lot want. Cheesecake. Wow, there ain't no cheesecake in Tipperwan, man. So instead, what do we have? Right, remember this, this set of YouTube, I'm not messing around with uh, tripods and stuff. Um, chocolate ice cream, can you see that? There you go, looking good. <laughs> I'm kind of look at, looking around in case the boss is like staring at me, like the head's creeping around the door. Is she there? No. Are you sure? I think she's there. Can you see the boss? <laughs> Boss don't look like that. Anyway, she did an ice, ice, ice cream test. <laughs> oh man. People, there you go, there I am. People complain that I laugh too much on my channel. Can you believe that? Well, if I, <laughs> if I, <coughs> if I was to do secret outros instead of YouTube, I'd just be laughing continuously. Look at that. Whoa, chocolate ice cream, man. Mmm. That is really nice. Should do one more. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Mmm. That's awful. <laughs> that, is so, that is so rotten. I'm going to have to wash it down with a glass of wine. Mmm. Okay. All done. <laughs>